where we learned that we needed to improve was like our hospice, um, end of life care. Uh, when we recognized after that performance period that we needed to improve in this area, um, the patient care coordinators took on the population management for the hospice population. Um, so when a referral is sent for hospice, the patient care coordinators are notified. And then we track and check in on those patients um, throughout their journey in the hospice um, service. And we check up on them, we make sure that their notes are coming back to our charts so that our doctors, who are still their providers, are aware of what's still happening with that patient even though they've been referred to hospice. Um, and then subsequently, you know, if a patient passes away, um, the patient care coordinators have a heavy, um, no, I wouldn't say heavy, we have a key role when someone passes away in the tasks that are completed when that happens. You would think that in a normal scenario, if a patient passes away, then things end and you just, you know, you move on. That's not how it looks at our practice. When we get notified that someone has passed away, there are very important things that have to happen in order to make sure that that uh, loop is closed. And, and really we do that for the patients and their families. Um, when someone's deceased, we, we make sure that all their referrals are closed out and we notify those imaging facilities because we don't want those facilities contacting the family to schedule an appointment. Um, we contact the pharmacies and we deactivate their, or we, excuse me, we discontinue their active prescriptions um, to make sure that if the patient has mail order prescriptions that are going out, that those aren't in the mail and going to be received by the family and then the family is going to be charged for those medications that they can't return. Um, so closing down a chart properly really will alleviate uh, undue stress on the family financially, emotionally, so that they can begin their grieving process or begin the process that they deal with on their own that's not going to be um, interfered by you know, logistical things that should have happened in the beginning. So that's a really important task to us.